Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Qt tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can open a second window using your first window in Qt. So let's get started. What I've done is I've created a sample project, which is a blank project. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my main window uh, form here, right? So remember right now we only have one UI or one window which is our main window but we want to you know open the second window or dialogue so first of all we need to create a second uh, you know class uh, in order to open uh, this uh, second window so how we can create a second window or second dialogue in Qt first of all so let's see how we can do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, right click on my project and in here I'm going to just say add new and in here I will just select Qt and then I will select this option which says Qt designer form class okay there are some other options here like Qt item model or Qt designer form which is without the class it's only the form then we have resource file QML file and JavaScript file but for now we want to use this option which says Qt designer form with class okay just choose this and then you have some options or templates to choose uh, from so you can see first option comes with dialog with buttons you can see ok and cancel button comes with uh, this template then you have uh, dialog with button on the right and then you have a dialog without button this is the one we are going to choose we also have the main window which have the status bar and the toolbar and we have the widgets also right so what we are going to do is we are going to choose this option which says dialog without uh, the button and then click next and this will be the name of your dialog so you can change the name of this uh, dialog like second dialog or uh, you can even uh, change this name totally for example my second form or something like this okay so this will be your second window so click next and then we want to add this uh, window to our uh, project which is yes so just click finish okay so now when you go to this edit mode and when you go to the source file for example you have the second dialog class created for you in the header also you have the second dialog dot h file so this is the class which is created by qt for you and you also have the second dialog dot ui file okay so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my main window ui which is this one main main window dot ui and i'm going to add a push button here and what I want to do uh, is whenever I push the button I want to open the second dialog so I will just write here open second dialog okay so uh, in order to uh, you know make it work we will just right click on it and we will say go to slot and we will choose the slot clicked here so whenever the button is clicked we want to perform some action so just choose this uh, slot clicked and click ok here so it's going to create uh, this function for us which is on uh, push button clicked function right now in order to uh, you know uh, call this uh, second class from this class you need to include the header of it right as all C++ uh, program do so just write include and then just include this second dialog.h file okay which is this one so this name should be same as this header file name second dialog okay now you can uh, use this uh, class in your uh, main window class so in order to uh, you know create this class or in order to create an object and open the second window from the first you just need to create an instance of this class so just write second dialog and then you can uh, give the name to this uh, dialog for example second dialog something like uh, this okay now we have the object so we can use this object and then we can uh, 
call a method from this object which is called set model okay so just write set model with the capital M and this takes one argument which is true or false so we want to set the model as true here okay and then we just need to call this object once again and we just need to call a method called exact here okay so what we are doing here we are creating uh, an object of our uh, second uh, dialog class and we are setting the model uh, is equal to true so this type of uh, you know creating the window from the first window or main window is called model approach okay and i will demonstrate what the model approach is in a moment when we run the program and uh, at the last in the third line we are just executing our, our um, you know object class or second dialogue so this is uh, you know what it does is it's just opening your um, second dialogue and it's going to execute it okay so save your code and run it so whenever we run this uh, program what we are going to see let's see so we will wait for the program to compile and run and now our uh, project is running so whenever i click the second dialog button it's going to open the second dialog which is the second class right now what model approach is so whenever you open the second dialog you cannot access your main window the previous window right so unless and until you close this uh, dialog second dialog you cannot open this uh, main window here right so this is called the model approach so whenever you set open your uh, second dialog you cannot access the previous one right now for example you want to access the previous um, uh, window what you can do here so we have some other uh, approach which is called model less approach and this will allow us to use both uh, at the same time now if you have observed here we have created uh, this object on the stack right we haven't used any pointer so as soon as uh, this uh, you know uh, object go out out of scope it will be destroyed immediately but in order to make it uh, persistent or uh, on a heap what we can do is we can uh, first of all i'm going to just uh, comment this code and what i'm going to do is this time i'm going to go to my main window dot h and in here i'm going to uh, create an object of uh, the second uh, class right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, cut this include header file for the second uh, window or for second dialog from here and i will include it in my header file for main uh, uh, window dot h right and now in the private access specifier i'm going to just create an instance of a second dialog so you can just use second dialog pointer uh, second dialog for example okay now uh, in here there are better ways of creating uh, the pointer nowadays uh, in modern c++ using smart pointers shared pointer or auto pointer any uh, kind of pointer you can use here depending upon the situation but i'm going to follow the conventional uh, route here as qt uh, is doing by creating normal pointers because qt is capable of uh, handling uh, these kind of pointers but if you are uh, creating a real uh, application i will suggest you to use uh, in most of the times uh, the smart pointers like smart shared pointers or auto pointers or unique depending upon the situation right so this is the some kind of a tip of the day you can say right so i have created the, an object of the second dialog and now i can go to the main window.cpp and in the push button click uh, function i can just use uh, this um, second dialog and i can create a new instance of uh, this uh, second dialog here 
and what we are going to do here is it takes one argument right and uh, which is the parent of uh, the second dialog so it uh, ask us to provide the parent for us and by default uh, it's uh, set is equal to zero you can see here so if you don't give any argument it's okay but we want to set uh, the parent for uh, this uh, constructor which is this class which is our main window class yeah, right so this indicates our main window or the class we are present in at this time right so as soon as your uh, main window is destroyed this will be also destroyed the object of this uh, second dialog will be uh, destroyed right so now in order to uh, open the second window just uh, choose this second dialog once again and then we are using this arrow pointer to access our uh, show function here there is a function called show and now this approach of uh, creating an object and opening the second window is called modelless approach so i'm going to save this program and i'm going to run it once again and let's see what happens this time so it's going to uh, for example let, let's suppress this dialog once again or button once again and now you can see i can access the second dialog also and i can access the first dialog also second and first right so using this approach i can uh, access the first and second uh, window at the same time when you create this on the heap as a pointer right now you may be wondering how you can uh, you know hide the first form and then open the second form so right now i am opening the second form but uh, maybe in some cases you want to hide uh, this first window and then open your second window this is also possible which is really simple what you need to do is you just need to uh, here go here and here you just need to uh, just call a hide method okay which is this one okay this hide method will hide this uh, main window and then open the uh, you know second dialog right so as the code sequence goes first it will hide your uh, main window and then it's going to show it so run the program once again and when it runs we are going to press this button and as soon as you press this button the first window is hidden right you can see there's no first window okay so whenever you call the hide method it hides the current window so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please write, comment, subscribe and bye for now.